Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the RM Network and today we are going to be reviewing Oceans 8. The new film is a spin-off I guess in the Oceans franchise and follows Danny Ocean's sister Debbie Ocean played by Sandra Bullock and along with the rest of the cast Kate Blanchett, Anne Hathaway, Mindy Kaling. <clears throat> Sorry I'm trying to get the whole cast here try to get all in. Uh, Mindy Kaling, Sarah Paul's in. Oh my gosh I'm going to butcher this. Aquafina, Aquafina, yeah, with uh, Rihanna and Helena, Helena Bonham Carter, and essentially this movie, it's another Oceans film where Debbie Ocean gets together a crew, and they're gonna rob the Met Gala of a very, I think they said 150 dollar or 150 million uh, dollar necklace, and that's it. That's you know the plot. That's how all the Oceans movies are. So. Let's get into what I liked, and what I really liked was the crew. I think they all, <clears throat> for the most part, they had their individuality to them, and they all worked really well together. That was some of what made the original Oceans trilogy the best. It was just all the crew had their personality, and they came together, and you're like, this is, I love it. I really enjoy it. And I also liked the heist, what, <clears throat> the planning of it, the execution of it. I liked how the heist went down. Um, and then a few things that I dislike or disliked. Wow, there's something about the original Ocean's Eleven. Maybe it's George Clooney and Brad Pitt, and maybe it's Steven Soderbergh's writing. But it had a really a magic sense of charm to it. This movie didn't have that sense of charm, and maybe I don't want to f falter any of the cast because I think they all did a really good job. But it just didn't have the charm or the charisma that a George Clooney or Brad Pitt or a Matt Damon or anybody else in the original cast had. And honestly, that's fine if you're trying to do a new thing. And they are. They're kind of, they're do, of course, they're doing a new uh, story, a new robbery, new crew. But there was just, it was something missing. And honestly, I think it might have been Steven Soderbergh's touch throughout the entire Oceans trilogy. This is directed and written by, I believe, I'm going to look this up right now, Gary Ross, who, yeah, Gary Ross, who did the uh, first Hunger Games movie along with, uh, well, he wrote Big and Seabiscuit, but he also did Free State of Jones, which was kind of dull, you know? So I thought that there were some aspects of this movie where they could have had a lot of fun with it, but it was a little on the dull side. And then there were also some, like, weird moments of cinematography. I, I, that's just on the uh, DP, but, yeah, that was a little odd at some points. So I was like, okay, that's weird. Another thing I actually really did like was the score. It reminded me of the original Ocean's trilogy, and it kind of, when I heard it start playing, I was like, we're back into this heist like world and all that stuff and I really enjoyed that but I also think that this took a lot of beats from the original but sometimes it just didn't play it out as well as the original did and maybe that should be just because I enjoyed the original so much but there are just certain beats and certain aspects of this movie that it takes from the original which is fine because uh, this is kind of essentially a reboot, even though it's a spin-off in the same universe. But it's really interesting how well they don't do it as well as you would hope for. But another thing that really makes this movie powerful, it's the fact that it's an all-woman cast. I feel like that is going to really inspire... Uh, younger women and not to be criminals which I actually have a line about that in the movie I thought that was pretty funny but to just show them a bit a powerful team you know coming together because the first three movies it was 11 12 13 guys all coming together and I thought this was really good it was really powerful my last little point about this was there's one plot point that keeps coming up throughout the film and it doesn't have it doesn't affect the overall story 
but it's something that keeps popping up here and there that at the very end I'm like okay so it's gonna be resolved right here by the do this and blah 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 and it's not and I'm like okay that's fine maybe they're setting it up for a sequel but I just feel like or they're just kind of leaving a door open it's not even setting up for a sequel which is actually my next point I would like a sequel I would like to see excuse me this cast come back together it seems like a really fun group. They seem like they had a lot of fun doing this, and it shows on screen. Their charisma all works together. It was just a little bit of charm throughout the rest of the movie that was missing. And um, this is a little bit, I guess, kind of based on how it would go down. There comes a point, probably... 20, 25 minutes before the end where I feel like, okay, it could end right there, but then it goes on to this whole, not side plot, but just kind of second story. And I'm like, okay, whatever, that's fine. It was a fine subplot, but uh, I just didn't know if it really fit or was necessary. But in the end, it didn't detract from the movie for me. And overall, this movie I enjoyed. I really enjoyed watching this movie. I would love to see this cast get together again to do another Oceans movie. Maybe you can bring in some of the old cast from the original trilogy. And that'd be really cool. That'd be really fun to see. But uh, that's it for me, you guys. Make sure you like this video. Comment, have you seen Oceans 8? Are you interested in seeing Oceans 8? If you have seen it, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Uh, without spoiling anything, of course. But make sure you like this video. Comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and when you do so, please hit that little bell icon. It uh, will notify you when new videos of mine come up. And then our uh, social media feed, mine and the channels, will be linked in the description box if you want to give that a follow. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. And one last time, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.